gentlemen, and welcome back for another quick little channel CG video. Today we're back with the twin turbo Odyssey sleeper. It's got a unicorn boost, this is VTech, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My good buddy Brandon, say What's hi. up? So today we're gonna be installing some new sound system parts in this guy's van. Focal, what are those, the mid-range or? These are, yeah, these are going the front doors. Uh, component set up, so we got separate tweeters, which I'm unsure where I'm gonna put. Because oh, there already tweeters in the it. stock, the this Odyssey, ironically, you wouldn't think it for an old minivan, but came with separate tweeters. Oh, really? In the dashboard, the little bit of study I've done, tweeter placement in the windshield area is not the greatest place to, to be put working. it. Yeah. So today we're gonna be experimenting with maybe putting them down lower, like yeah. somewhere on the door or something yeah. instead of. Or something or? Yeah, instead of the dash. The Kenwoods. Oh, those I'm excited for. The guys at Crutchfield said these would blend nice with the sound of these Focals. Focals a new thing to me. I was into. I never heard them either, yeah. Yeah, I was into audio like 15 years ago. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been into audio for about six months <laughs> so you, you got me beat there at least so, <laughs> so the faux cows are totally a new thing to me yeah, Jim, jimmy and i saw them on crutchfield some of them are like twenty four hundred dollars yeah, a pair yeah so yeah. these were more like 160. that's more like it yeah oh i think they're gonna sound great something a little different here on the channel so let's get started Here's something. It's got a little leftover Bondo on it and everything, you know, but. <laughs> All right, so we're working on the rears first. They are right here. I was over here looking looking at these like, oh, these must be the speakers, but. That's, a, that's actually, I like that because they fire forward. Question is how these grills. <laughs> oh, the death of a. <laughs> Did it crack? <laughs> the death of a Bondo knife. No. Oh. Oh, man. That's a sad day. Oh, let me see what I got. I might have something to pry them off. That popped right out. Okay. Yeah. There it goes. I didn't even break it. Oh, that's bumping, man. That is really bumping. Now this is high grade cardboard paper. Oh yeah, definitely. This is why you replace factory speakers. <laughs> there, congratulations. Nice, 20 watts. Oh, a whole 20 watts. Four ohm. That's, that's nice. <laughs> We're gonna do a giveaway. Uh, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, so you had to get these separately, right? But yeah, on, I guess Crutchfield, they have really good customer service from what Brandon's telling me. And it's really easy to find, you know, all this kind of stuff. Their prices aren't bad, free shipping. So it's got this little harness adapter, positive. There we go, very nice. Oh wait, I think, yeah, okay. So the backing plate will need to go on here. Right. And then, yeah, well, I shouldn't have plugged that in then. You just got these backing plates on the speakers they were kind of a pain in the butt because you gotta use these little what do you say clip nut sort of things now they're together so we can bolt it in actually the holes line up perfectly so nice quality stuff it's like arrangement yeah it works good because it keeps the kids from Destroying the From speakers. Polka, yeah. <laughs> Not that mine would ever destroy oh, anything. Oh no, yeah. But the you know, angels. theoretic, theoretical <laughs> kids that do that kind of thing. Yeah, right. You can kind of see it in there. Actually, you can see a little better on the camera. All right. Looks like these are coming out a little easier. There's like a little spot there for your yeah. screwdriver or whatever. Your um, panel prying tool. That tweeter is still wired to this head. Yeah. And it probably has a passive crossover in it. Like there's an inline base blocker in it probably. That so could be an I'm issue. So what I'm saying is I was hoping that maybe they had a crossover in here and the tweeter wires were in here so I could cut them. Yeah. And not even have to do anything with that. Yeah, not even pull these out. And just put the crossover in here in the door. Yeah, and, and then, then you could, then we could have put them in the door, actually. Then you could put the tweeter wherever you want. Yeah, it's the crossover. Oh, I see, so that is yeah, crossover. Yeah, it, just, it so. just crosses between, so it's nice. Oh yeah, they're nice. Dedicated mid-range. Yeah, oh that's gonna be sweet. 
nominal power of 50 watts. So they're not super different than the Kenwoods. Yeah, I know so, the people at home will want to know about that. So, so they're uh, super like reasonable for a Focal. No, that's not bad at all. All right, well, these front mids aren't going to be quite as simple as the rear. Uh, we need to cut this out without dropping it, of course. I don't know if anybody, if you can see it, but this hitting, you kind of see where it's rubbed there. It's hitting, so I think we're going to try to cut it. I'm just going to use a Dremel, cut like right along here. That might just work. So that was just hanging up back in there. The wire spades, you know, are kind of close, so yeah. you know, we just gotta watch when we put the wires back in that we're not like yanking off the wires. Yeah, and not breaking like stuff off. Getting this crossover. Yeah, for the tweeters. In there, in a way that's not gonna rattle around. Yeah. And somehow stay nice and connected. Rock and roll, man. Cool, cool stuff. So the plan as of now is to run the wire, and we'll show them, show them what we're doing. Yeah. So. Jimmy and I are thinking that we're putting the crossover in here. We need to hook up the mains to the actual wire harness to get the juice coming in. And then we got the one to the tweeter is going to actually come back out, run up our door panel, and we're going to attach it to, I think some people call it the mirror bezel or I don't oh, know. Yeah. Whatever fancy term you have for this section of your car. That piece of plastic right there. <laughs> um, and get a nice central sound feel. Oh, that'll sound great, man. Yeah, hey. Road, road trip heaven, man. <laughs> Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we got both the crossover soldered and taped up. And now we're going to mount them in the car. I got this cool stuff. It's actually meant for like trim, but this will work perfect to just like stick Put it back a there. Strips in there. Yeah. Now I'm just constraining this. I got some slack. Oh, it's still it's kind of loose, mounted. but sort of mounted. The wires ran back. I tucked it behind plastic and then wired it up and then tucked it back in this sweet. Then I secured all the loose stuff in the back. So. Yeah, it's coming together really good though. Theoretically, you could mount. This. Yeah, I could mount the speaker and you finish up that side. Yeah, here's the uh, focal speakers. And I got the plates all mounted up. I had to re-drill them so that everything would fit in here. Should be cool, so. Well, we're almost done now. Just running this last tweeter in and then we can bolt the speaker. Brandon yanked a little too hard on the one wire. Mr. Make everything perfect, make everything <laughs> built like a brick house. <laughs> I kept pushing and pushing until the stupid little connector broke. Yeah, that's what that's what this little thing is for. Although I need a new tip. Yeah, the tweeters were a little bit of a pain, but it was mostly just like trying to figure out how to run them. It's coming together now, so. Here's just a quick final look at the way things look over on this side. All together, you can see we drilled here so you can run the wires through. Coming up and out here. It looks actually pretty clean. The side's pretty much done, knock on wood. All this for a little bit of sound. <laughs> I think it's worth it. Like, Heck yeah. God made us enjoy music for a reason. That's right. And you're driving seven hours one way, is it? Yeah. Yeah, you want some music. Need some tunes. <laughs> I hear tweeter action. You hear tweeter action? I definitely hear tweeter action. Yeah. Chords in an order that is new. I wish I didn't have to rhyme every time I sang. I was so anyways guys, I think that is gonna do it for this quick little channel CG video. It was a lot of fun to be able to hang out with Brandon for the afternoon and install the sound system. I'm sorry this ending is kind of abrupt. Him and I both had places we had to be later in the day and it was taking a little longer than we originally expected. Isn't it the way it always works out though? But that was a lot of fun to get together and hang out and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. My man Brandon drives like seven plus hours on a regular basis for work. And that old Honda Odyssey work van gets him there pretty good. And now at least he can listen to some music and some podcasts so he doesn't go quite as insane driving all that way. I think if he was able to get a little more power coming from the head unit and maybe perk up the mid-ranges a little bit, I get a nice balance because as it is, it's very crisp thanks to those tweeters. But actually considering the setup and considering the tweeters are really just aimed at you, it has a pretty full sound and it is nice and crisp. But anyways guys, be sure and go subscribe if you have not already. I have many videos coming at you guys this week. One of the videos that's gonna be coming out in the next couple days hopefully is kind of, it's kind of a sneak peek of it there in the back of the Durango. 
It's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. So be sure and go subscribe if you have not already. Be sure and smack the thumbs up button on this video if you did enjoy. I like having special guests come on the channel and do some random stuff. It's always a lot of fun. It's a nice little change of pace. Be sure and go comment down below also if you have any questions about what you saw in this video or just anything that you would like to say. As always, we have a good time down in the comments section. And again, guys, thanks for watching this quick little channel CG video. You rock. God bless and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.